This is actually one of the most exciting times we've had mining in a long time. Uh, we spent the last decade, decade and a half, actually focusing on only getting tons through the gate in mines and not really thinking too much about technology or about are there smarter ways to do things. Uh, what's happened in the last couple of years, uh, we all know it and we're all feeling it, uh, markets are going down. The next wave of improvement we, we got to start thinking about in mining and, and many mining companies are is what do we do to now start mining smarter? Uh, not cheaper but smarter or and in, in, in increasing the value of our operations and that's that's a whole new page of the of the playbook for a, for a mining company um, and, and and it requires a whole new set of skills and a whole new uh, way of thinking and, and challenging the way the way we operate who says you know if, if I'm going to op operate a remote mine and I'm going to um, operate it say completely on renewable power a 100% renewable powered mine that's a dream but people say, yeah, you can't do that because the wind doesn't always blow or the, or the, the sun doesn't always shine. And, and that's true, but equally, you've got to ask yourself, who says you have to mine 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Who says that? You know, uh, at certain scales, maybe you have to, but you know, if, if there was a tremendous upside, a tremendous economical advantage to just saying, well, there's some activities we do when the wind is blowing and some, there's some activities you do when the wind's not blowing. Maybe you can rethink your schedule, rethink your, your sequence of events to, to be 100% renewable. So we got to start challenging the paradigms that we have to increase production even higher to, to compete today in, in, a, in a world where we don't need all these products to how can I scale my operation? How can, how can, we, how can we use technology, uh, adapt flow sheets, create new flow sheets that allow you to make your operation far more scalable. Probably the lowest hanging fruit in mining, especially underground mining, is, is, is in the direction of, of uh, work management practices, uh, automation, intelligent mining, um, through, through better software and better control of the, of the schedule, really. This lowest level is around, is around putting in data highways, scheduling software, work management practices, and, and changing the organization of a mine to, be, to look more like a manufacturing process. What, what you're doing is really reducing the variation in the process. Just reducing one sigma of variation, you can get 20, 30 uh, percent improvement either, um, either as, as production or as lower operating cost if you do it right. It's really important that mining companies come back to making technology strategic. The companies that win in mining today are going to be the ones that are able to take technology by the horns and make it perform for them in new ways uh, that, that we're not doing today. And that, for me, that's the most exciting part of mining and it's a place where Hatch wants to be.